time to flush transmission fluid. Always install a safety stand after you jack up the car before you crawl under the car to loose up the transmission bolt. We want to loosen the transmission drain plug on the left. After loosen the transmission drain plug, let the transmission fluid drain out completely. Be careful not to splash the transmission fluid on the ground or on the engine. Let the transmission fluid drain completely. Took the uh, screw back at 30, pound, 30 foot pound. Carefully remove the clamps from the transmission ho hoses and push it down. You can remove the clamp with a plier or a long no plier. Squeeze the two end together and push it down and wiggle the hoses a little bit to loosen from the transmission line. Yikes, the transmission fluid is very dirty. This transmission fluid came out of a 2002 Toyota Sienna V6 3.0 liter. Measure how much transmission fluid you are taking out from the transmission pan and pour the exact amount back in. In this case, we use a one gallon ball and a funnel that way we can see how much fluids we're taking out you can use any measurement any container that you have on hand as long as you can read loosen the clamps on the transmission hoses and move the clamps down and wiggle the uh, hoses a little bit so you can remove it from the transmission line be careful a lot of sharp object down there you can use the uh, plier. In this case, we use a long no plier. It's easy to squeeze the clam and move it down. Attach two clear plastic hoses to the middle transmission lines. So we can see the transmission fluid coming in or going out. You can buy these hoses at Low or Home Depot. Connecting the two clear plastic hoses to the transmission lines so we can see the transmission fluids draining out. The two clear plastic hoses has been connected to the transmission lines. The left hose where I'm pointing out is the output hose where the transmission fluids comes out going into the bottom radiator and then cool down. The one on the right is the input hose with the transmission coming out of the bottom radiator going to the transmission after it has been cooled. We use a compressed air to gently blow out the transmission fluid from hoses. Time to add transmission fluid. We take out three and a half quart of transmission fluids. Now we put back three and a half quart. And now we start the engine to flush out the old transmission fluids. Make sure the uh, transmission fluid hoses are connected properly so you can see the transmission fluid coming out and it's real dirty. Also keep adding the new transmission fluids on top. Never let it run out. Make sure you know how much you're adding to it and how much you're taking out. In this case, I'm going to take out five quarts. So I put in five more quarts on top of it to make sure all the old transmission fluid is drained out completely. Be careful not to overfill it. As you can see, my transmission fluid is dirty. Now we recycle five fluid of used transmission fluid. Now sh shut off the engine. Reattach all the hoses back and put the clamp back on. 
Reattach all the hoses and clamps. Refill the transmission fluids back to its original level. Know how much you take out and put the same amount back in. Total transmission fluids we took out 8.5 quarts, so we put back 8.5 quarts. Shift your transmission to different gears first and put them back at park and then check your transmission fluids either at hot or at cold. Thank you for watching.